Hey, Internet land, this is Zachmus Prime, a.k.a. Zachmus Prime, here with another Transformers third-party legends review. Oh, you know how much I love my third-party legends. So today we're going to be reviewing the Magic Square Sound... No, Stereo Master. Stereo Master. Um, not, it's not Blaster. It's anything but Blaster. It's Stereo Master. Master of the Stereo. And... Um, this guy is so good. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but like the last couple uh, Magic Square releases, I didn't even know about them till they basically came out. Like this guy, I didn't know about him till like two weeks before he was coming out. And I was like, holy shit, they're making a blaster. I was super excited. And same with their Cyclonus. Like their Cyclonus, I was like, I'm like, man, yeah, Magic Square is coming out with a lot of good stuff. I'm going gonna, gonna to look him up on on like you know a website I looked them up on a website and there's like a there's like a colored painted you know test shot of their cyclonus and i was like what <laughs> i hadn't even heard of it before that moment anyhow we're not talking about that we're talking about this guy right now this is a fantastic figure i love this a whole lot here he is from the back really clean um just really just looks great he's got just the tiniest amount of kibble right here this little panel and I guess this but you know these are all these are all details that are that are specific for the character I guess um, just fantastic really good paint apps on them too um, in fact I'm pretty certain he's actually got some part separation in here that makes the paint apps probably cleaner to apply I don't know that might be a paint app that might just be a separate part I'd have to take it apart to really figure it out, and I don't really want to take it apart. I just want to sit here and enjoy them. So, um, one of the things that struck me about this figure is that um, this figure is absolutely meant to go with the DX9 Sonic Wizard. Um, I know that there have been a few Legends, in fact, I've even reviewed a couple of the Legends class sound waves, and... Um, and uh, clearly Sonic Wizard is the one that's meant to go with. You'll see they've got the same shoulder height, the same head height. Um, their, uh, their cassette tapes are the exact same size um, because he's got one of the double wide um, tapes just like uh, Ravage. On this guy, Ravage, let me see, it was Ratbat and Laserbeak were were single wide tapes and you could actually fit them both in his chest at the same time and then Ravage was a double wide tape. That's what I've got in there right now. And this guy comes with a version of Ramhorn, which is a double wide. But um God, they just look so good together, you know? Um I I, I like I like Magic Square's use of uh, hinges over the ball joints. The ball joints, you know, from an engineering perspective are a really good choice. Um, because they provide, you know, the the bend in rotation with one joint, whereas you've got to have, I mean, this is basically three joints here. So you've got this double jointed elbow contraption and a mushroom peg in there for the for the bicep swivel. So from an engineering perspective, it makes more sense for ball joints, but I think this just looks better to me. But um, yeah, it's really, I, I'm going to put this guy aside for a little bit. Um, but yeah, in terms of accessories, uh, he comes with his gun here. His gun is um, actually got some some paint apps on it. Just a little bit of gunmetal here on the stock, a little gun gunmetal here on the uh, the barrel. Um, and even though it's almost the same color as the gray plastic that they use, just kind of lends a little bit of uh, uh, dignity to his weapon. I don't know. It uh, makes it look good. His other accessory, and I guess you can call this an accessory. I always have trouble pulling this out. Uh, no, that didn't work. Well, failing all of that, what you can do is you can push his buttons down a bit so that it gives you clearance to put on that, and then you can open this up and push it from the other side. And that, that's a really reliable way to get this open. And so here you've got Ramhorn 
And to transform him up here, you're just going to fold him around to turn him inside out. He's got the two halves of his head are in here. They don't peg together or anything like that. It's just a little bit of a bummer, but you know, you can deal with that. Pull his feet out, and there he is. He's a little, uh, a little rhinoceros with missile packs on him. It's interesting. Um, he's got these little slots in here. Like something pegs into it, but nothing pegs into them. So I don't know what the story is with those. If those are some sort of, like if they're a design feature for something that got scrapped in the production, or if they're set there, if they're for, you know, doing something later, I don't know. But, so that's it for his accessories. For his height comparison, let's put them. This is this is my this is my standard for a legend scale uh, size comparison. I think that is a pretty good size comparison. I think that's a pretty good height for him. Um, but let's get into possibility. So his head is on a ball joint and will rotate around freely. It's interesting, um, his head, the ball joint attaches towards the back of the head. So they put a little cut in there and he can get just all sorts of crazy uh, up movement here. Not really much in the way of down movement. Um, but yeah, if you need him to look all the way up, he can do that just like a champ. Um, his shoulders are on ball joints here with a cut so they go out all the way for the full tree pose. Uh, he's got, like I mentioned, the bicep swivel here and double jointed elbow. So he's got the full bend there. That's really nice. Um, he does have a waist joint. If those buttons stay out of the way, then they, then his waist joint works completely great. Um, nothing, no issue there. These flaps are really for um, his alt mode. So you kind of got to move it around to move his leg back, but with that out of the way, his leg will move all the way back, all the way forward. Full Van Dam. He's got a thigh cut right here. Single joint at the knee for with 90 degree bend. That's that's doing pretty good. His toe will go will tilt that much, so it'll match. It will match the Van Dam. Um, he does have a transformation joint in here that you can kind of finagle around. It doesn't have any rigidity. Um, it's really just meant to fit, you know, in this. In this flat footedness here, but you can kind of pretend he's got more possibility there, but he really doesn't. But let's get him transformed up. His transformation is actually quite simple. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and his arms are going to go straight back like this. You're gonna take his these flaps on his back and you're going to turn around there's actually two oh i forgot to mention he's got a um a dedicated ab crunch here as well this is not for transformation at all that's just that's just for people who like ab crunches anyhow so what you're going to do because there's actually there's your waist joint here and then there's like there's like a crotch joint here and so if you kind of hold them here and then put your finger here and you can just rotate this part around like that and that'll fold down and fits flush with his dick plate here. And then you'll put this up. There's, you'll pull this panel out here like that. And then this panel comes up and then there's another one folded behind it like so. And that also uncovers this joint here. There's a joint that moves this knee sideways. So you're going to bend that at that joint. There's a tab here. That tab is going to fit into your um, your relief slot for the mushroom peg. Just like that. Oh, I forgot to also, while I was doing this, bring his toe around. And that toe folds down. And then his arm is just going to fold in like that. I wish his arms had a better place to go. I think that's a bit of a cop out, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to, it looks great from the front. It looks iffy from the back. So again, 
And we're gonna do the same for the other side, pull this out, pull this panel out, pull that panel out. Get it to go over that tab. Bring this around, fold it. You kinda of gotta fold the toe before you put it back into place, otherwise it's gonna argue with you just a little bit. Bring this up, tab it into a relief slot. Put his arm down, you're gonna take his head. Now, you can just fold this in and go like that, but if, that, if you do it like that, then when you try and put the rhino in, in the tape mode, you'll find it won't fit because his head gets in the way. What you gotta do is you gotta fold his head back when you put it in, but now his head doesn't wanna get in the way. So what you have to have to do is you have to take his head and move it like 45 degrees so that he basically clunks up against it like that and then you kind of have to push it in. And that will give you the clearance. You can see his face through the front of, of that, that little window there. Um, that'll make it so that he's got enough clearance for the tape in his tape mode and uh, also his head fits in there just fine. These are on a dovetail connection. You'll just hook them together. And uh, there he is in his alternate mode. And um, he looks fantastic. Let me get this guy transformed up real, real quick as well. Gosh. I do wish that there was a better way to, um, like if there was like a, a, like a notch or something. You can see that there is like a little notch here, but you have to have uh, nicer fingernails than I have um, to make that work. So if you were to just take his head and fold it in like that, then you would find that when you stick a ram horn in here, he does not fit. So what you gotta do, like I said, bring his head up about 45 degrees, clunk up in there, and then you just push it in. And it all fits. And it all fits rather, rather quite well. Like I mentioned, his arms are a little bit of an eyesore. He doesn't have any place to stick his gun. I'll sometimes just put it right there, but I really wish that there was a better place to keep his gun. Granted, I mean, he's not unique in that. I know that on Sound Blaster specifically, um, there's no place to keep this part right here. And I really wish that there was. Let me get this transformed up really quick. And I mean, like really, really quick. Let me get, let me get Ravage pulled out first though, because I want to display them. Gosh, I feel like now half my video is going to be just me transforming a completely different figure. This um, this sound blast, the sound wave, by the way, is one of my very favorite figures that um that DX9 has released. And um, so I was really, really happy that another company is like, no, we're gonna make we're gonna make a blaster to go with this. And it really is meant to go specifically with this version of Soundwave, this sound, Sonic Wizard. Oh, come on. By the way, if you guys have seen the Bumblebee movie and uh, Holy Smokes, that sound wave, right? I was super stoked about that. Though I was a bit confused as to why Ravage was like white and black instead of white and red instead of like <laughs> black and white. So there they are put together in your tape mode, or your, your uh, tape player mode, and um, just they look great together um because as with the toys there was of course that with the toys there was a disparity in the size between blaster and sound wave and uh and they've maintained that um actually i think the uh, disparity between these sizes is a bit less intense with these guys here but yeah, it's interesting that this guy turns into a much bigger tape deck than this guy does um I just think that's kind of a, that's kind of clever as well, even though it may not in, exactly have been intentional. 
But anyhow, that's it for uh, this guy here. This is the, the, the Magic Square um, Stereo Master. It's a fantastic figure, highly recommended from me. Um, I mean, I would, I would recommend, of course, of course, all of these, I would recommend to anyone who's getting a Legends collection. But if you're just a fan of Blaster in general, like definitely pick this up. That's 100% um, a, a pickup there. So thanks everybody for watching. You guys are all fantastic. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Hit the old like button and uh, subscribe and ring that bell to, to see what, what stuff I'm coming out with in the future. Um, I know there's a lot of good stuff. Um, plan on coming in for uh, 2019 and I will be happy to review as much of it as I can um, You guys are all fantastic Give me all give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this at all and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya. Bye